groundswell of people who are just desperately hungry for real oneness with Jesus. And they're hungry. even when they don't know what the real looks like, they know it when they see it. Many of them are just tired. They're just tired. But they're hungry for purity in him. They're hungry to know him. They're hungry to walk in his presence. And they keep standing faithfully. A lot of them keep standing, this, this remnant I'm talking about, they keep standing faithfully in church. They keep standing faithfully in fellowship year after year, but they're dry. And sometimes they're confused. They're filled with a holy longing. They know something is missing, but they're not sure what it is. They know they're tired of the hype. They know they're tired of the show. They know that lukewarm isn't satisfying their hunger. They're hungry for the meat. Now, this is, an, this is encouraging to me because they're, they're hungry for the meat of the word of God in ways we haven't seen since the early days of the Jesus movement. Yeah. And I'll make a confession. I've been, afraid, I've been afraid to start like a Friday night Bible study time here a couple of times a month because I don't think anybody will show up. Hello? There's a growing groundswell of people who are really hungry to dig into the word of God. This remnant I'm talking about, they're tired of the ways that the spirit of Baal has, has infiltrated the church, the way that the spirit of Baal has infected its doctrines, the way that the spirit of Baal has, has infected the ministries of the church and, and the worship of the church with a focus on self and a permissive attitude toward moral compromise. They're tired of that. 1 Kings 19.18. In 1 Kings 19.18, God spoke to Elijah the prophet. Elijah was really discouraged. Really discouraged. It was a time when most of Israel, God's people, had been caught up in compromise with the spirit of Baal, with, with, with idolatry. And the, I won't go into all the shape of that, but he was really discouraged. He wanted to run away. And God said this to him. Yet I will leave 7,000 in Israel, all the knees that have not bowed to Baal and every mouth that has not kissed him. It's a remnant, not a majority. Most of the remnant worship in small, most of the remnant people that I'm talking about, they worship in small churches in hidden places that nobody ever hears about. But it took only one Samson to slay 1,000 Philistines. And he did it with the jawbone of a donkey. The remnant may not have great resources and wealth, but all Samson had was the jawbone of a dead donkey. It took just Jonathan and his armor bearer to spark a victory over an army of Philistines.